favorite Thanksgiving food is turkey. Not too stuffed because it's wrestling season. I can't gain too much weight, but I'm still gonna enjoy my meal. See, I don't like going out on Black Friday, but I have to say the earliest I go is from nine to get there, and I want to say probably about five because I'm not gonna get on get into all that wrestling around for some kind of items. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ford, and I'm originally from Rockford, Michigan, and graduated from Central Michigan University. I'm brand new to East Jackson, moved here in July, and my first impressions are I really like the small family atmosphere at East Jackson, and something that people don't know about me is a few years ago, I ate dinner with the Austrian royal family. Hi, I'm Caitlin Christensen, and I'm the English speech and theater teacher here at uh, East Jackson High School. I currently live in Holt, Michigan, and I grew up around the Jonesville area, and I attended Spring Harbor University, so I'm really familiar with the Jackson community, and I've always um, really loved the community-oriented focus in this community. Um, coming here to East Jackson has been really exciting for me. I'm really loving teaching here. And one thing you may not know about me is that I have a strong passion for um, musical theater. I've performed in a lot of um, community productions throughout my life. I just, during this summer, performed um, as Zydel, the oldest daughter in uh, the production of Fiddler on the Roof. Hi, my name is Mr. Neidlinger. I'm new to East Jackson. This is my first year as Assistant Principal and Athletic Director. I'm originally from Marshall, Michigan, which is about 30 minutes to the west. I've been in Chicago the last 12 years, and uh, one thing that you may not know about me, let's see. My birthday is on Groundhog Day, so remember that. Mr. Schaefer, um, I spent the last two years teaching in Columbus, and something people might not know about me is I was born in Cadillac, Michigan. Laura Punches. I am from here. I grew up in East Jackson, so my first impressions are from a long time ago. It's always been a positive experience, and I'm glad to be back teaching here. Probably one thing a lot of people don't know about me is that I hunt. Beginning next spring, we're going to get a facelift to the front of the building. That's going to mean that we're going to put a new entranceway in that's going to be more secure. It's going to funnel any guests through the office um, before they're able to enter the building. We're also going to create a, a, nice a nice lounge and welcoming space for people coming into the building. It's going to get brand new carpeting, brand new display cases for um, East Jackson trophies or just to dis display the good things we're doing. And then we're also going to have some seating area for students, some carpet, a couple areas for students to plug in electronics. It's just going to get a completely different look, which is going to be obviously first, it's, it's going to be more safe. The building will be more safe, but B, and we're also going to have a a better look to uh, to our school when when parents and students walk in. It's a uh, contracting firm out of Kalamazoo that will put the work up to bid. We don't know yet who's going to do that, but they will. I think they're going to put the the, the items uh, up to bid in December. Well. As it, as it stands right now, obviously we don't have the contractors in place, but what, what we're thinking is it'll start some of the work during spring break when, when students aren't in the building so we don't disrupt the educational environment and we'll start some of the work then.
Uh, everything will be mainly up front. The, the majority, I'd say probably 90% of the work will be up front. Some of the stuff, other stuff will be done that you, people won't even know about or won't affect them in any way. But most, like I said, 90% of it will be that front entrance. I think, obviously, anytime you talk about, okay, what represents your building, it's the first look. And not that we're... How are the SATs different from the ACTs? The ACT was the old test that was used to see if kids were college ready. Now they're changing to the SAT because they think it's a little cheaper. The SAT, the new SAT, has a part with no calculator use on it, and the ACT did not have that part. Okay, the SAT um, is a new test, so they don't have the corresponding scores with what you need to get into college at the base level. So we're still waiting for those scores to come out. The main things on my mind this week are getting ready for parent-teacher conferences and talking with parents and uh, helping answer any of their questions. And also, really on my mind is helping seniors finalize all their college applications, getting their transcripts sent out to all the colleges and universities that they need to and helping them prepare for life after high school. Um, I guess from the position of an assistant principal, I'm excited about the first round of uh, parent-teacher conferences, which continue today. And from the athletic standpoint, we're transitioning into the winter season, so uh, we're excited about that to get that rolling. Well, that's a pretty easy question this week because we have a big thing going on this week, and that's conferences. And that's actually a bigger deal, I think, for teachers and staff members than it is for kids because we have to be prepared for every single student when the parents come in. We don't know what kind of questions are going to be asked of us. So the biggest thing on my mind is being able to get through that couple days. I think it's about eight hours total time for conferences and making sure that I'm prepared with everything for any student that any parent could ask. Our students, students ask questions too. of tryouts but they have a new coach and uh, I know they lost a lot of players last year but um, hopefully they can come together um, and the seniors will be able to lead them and they'll have a successful year so good luck to the girls. I think we need to become more of a team instead of just certain grades and I think we're going to do really really well this season better than anyone expects us to do. I think our team needs to improve on is coming together as one and showing respect for each other. And I think we're going to do well this year since we're getting underestimated by other people. I think we're going to show them that we have a good team this year. I think my team needs to be improved on passing good and hooping well. And I think I'm going to do all right this year. I think my team needs to improve on layups and shooting. And I think we're going to do good this year. I am very lucky because I got that Irish blood in me and it trails through so I mean I got some luck. I'm very lucky. Always be good in school. Be better than your parents. Do what they couldn't and just go all the way to the top. 6,000? If I was a cereal, I'd love to be Trex because I like that cereal. I always got to clean my car because if I'm going to have a good whip, I'm going to make sure it's clean. Kansas. Cause I can't find anything, you know, that's really attractive to Kansas. I mean, it's boring, nothing to do. I wouldn't even, you know, even see why anybody would want to live there in the first place. My Crayola color is blue. 
I picked blue because it's my favorite color. I mean, everybody should love blue. From one to 100, how honest I am, 60%. The song that I would like to sing on American Idol, it would be Adele's Hello. I think gnomes are creepy because they just, they just don't look right to me. I would take diamonds, coconuts, and a frying machine. Why I would take those three? Because diamonds so I can get money, coconuts so I can make non-alcoholic pina coladas, and a frying machine so I can, you know, make my own original recipe of chicken.